How's it going everyone? Wanna highlight a couple of things in this video. First of all, there is a pretty solid sale going on over at Target. Had mentioned this a little while ago, but there is a buy two get one free sale that I think is worthwhile for you to take advantage of. On top of that, another notable deal over at Gamefly, who they generally have a pretty good deals from time to time, so I do wanna highlight that. So again, we'll highlight that at the end of this video. But first of all, there is a buy two get one free sale running on target right now now with the buy to get one free sales that always run i highly recommend you to be selective with anything that you pick up because the majority of the titles are at full price what i mean is Let's look at a game like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's $70 uh, to get it as a part of this buy to get one free sale. Well, that game goes on sale. Yes, MW2 does go on sale from time to time at like, you know, $45. So why would you pay $70 even with a buy to get one free sale? Or Sonic Frontiers, which is listed at $50. Again, that game does go on sale. So you want to be a little bit selective as far as what games you get. And ideally, you would want to gravitate towards the newest of game releases. So what do I mean by that? Well, Star Wars Jedi Survivor right off the top would be a great uh, selection given that it's still a $70 game. You're very rarely going to find it under $70. I know like right on release, Amazon had that little uh, gimmick of $10 off, but... That was a very uh, timely gimmick where Target and I think it was Best Buy were offering $10 gift cards. You guys get the idea. That's not happening again, and I imagine this game is not going to go on sale until um, at least see a deep discount until probably the fall, like Black Friday time. But Jedi Survivor itself, I've talked about it. It's a great game. I'm actually doing another playthrough of the game right now, and... Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I would definitely give it a shout. Obviously, it has its technical limitations, but I thought the game was just tremendous uh, outside of those technical limitations. So, great game, a ton of content as well. So, $70 with a buy two, get one free. If you do pick up two other games that are of equivalent value, you're talking about getting each of them for what? Around like $46 and change, like $46.67. So, that's not bad. Hogwarts Legacy listed as well. Look, you're not going to get a better deal for Hogwarts Legacy than $46.67 or whatever the exact amount would be uh, another very good game a lot of content um you know and i'm not a big harry potter fan but i ended up really enjoying that game so that alongside jedi survivor as your two main games uh you're not gonna get those games at better prices than 46 dollars quite possibly for the entirety of the year jedi survivor i could see it going down to 45 by the end of the year while hogwarts legacy honestly i don't think that's gonna go cheaper than uh 45 dollars just because that is a game that Warner Brothers is not stupid. They know the appeal and how premier of a game that is, especially the PS5 version being $70. Now, the PS4 version is available as well, and the PS4 version, for, uh, by all accounts, does run decently well, and that is listed at 60 bucks. so if you do want to go to the uh, go with the PS4 version instead, you can do that, and then you can upgrade to the PS5 version if you do want. Resident Evil 4 is listed as well. Obviously, that's a $60 game, but that's a game that I foresee will hold up in price for quite a while, a phenomenal, phenomenal game, so if you want to get Jedi Survivor, Hogwarts Legacy, and Resident Evil 4. That's not a bad trio of games, even though RE4 is $10 cheaper. You're still talking about getting a really recent release for $46 and change. And uh, yeah, like to get all three of those at, uh, what would it be, $140? Like Jedi Survivor, Hogwarts Legacy, and Resident Evil 4 for a total of $140 because remember, you do pay for the two, you know, highest uh, price games. That's a pretty darn good trio of games. And I mean, if you do want to sneak in like a COD in there, the value isn't completely lost when you're talking about at least two of the three games being a very high value. You have other stuff listed there as well, like you can go with Dead Island 2 if you do want that, although we have a pretty decent deal on Dead Island 2 from Gamefly that we'll go over. Uh, Gran Turismo 7 is there, I mean that's been holding up in price, Dead Space Remake, we've seen a discount on it, not sizable. Uh, Diablo 4 on Xbox One and Series X is listed, is it available on um, PlayStation 4 and 5, because that would be a home run if that was the case. It is unfortunately not, only the Xbox One and Series X and S version are available for the buy to go and free. That just stings a little bit. If it was available for uh, the PS5, I mean, that would be a no-brainer. Everybody would be gravitating towards that. That would be a really good option. But if you do have an Xbox, I mean, you could go Diablo 4, you could go Jedi Survivor, and you could go Hogwarts Legacy. And if you have an Xbox and a PlayStation, I mean, you can mix and match as far as platforms are concerned. Sonic Frontiers is 45, so that's not awful. Crisis Core Reunion is 
is 40 so if you find some you know games that are of equivalent value um from what i know the last buy two get one free sale that my boy took advantage of at target you can get the same game multiple times like he got this was right after COD came out. He got two copies of COD, and him and one of our other friends uh, split the cost of the game. You know, they just worked it out. So you can do that if you have a buddy that you can you know, go, uh, go split the cost with, so if you get, like, two copies of Star Wars and a copy of Hogwarts and your boy wants a copy of Star Wars, you could just figure it out that way, which is quite, uh, effective as well, which I feel like not enough people, uh, give credit to. I mean, like, who's really trying to do that? And it's kind of, like, a sneaky thing to do, but, like, who cares, bro? You're trying to save money here, so that's an option as well. Elden Ring on PS4 is listed at $45, so if you want to get something like Elden Ring, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII Reunion, and Sonic Frontiers, like, that's a really good option. Elden Ring is 45, Sonic Frontiers is like 46, and then Crisis Core Reunion is 39. You would get all three of those for 90 bucks, $30 a pop. I'm just saying that like you can find sneaky good deals at a buy two get one free sale like that. The PS5 version of Elden Ring is also 48. Uh, the PS4 version is 45. But the PS4 version also gives you a free upgrade to the PS5 version, so that's fine as well. Callisto Protocol is at 29.99. That seems to be like an MSRP drop for the game, so that's not like a great deal, but you know, with buy two get one free, not that bad. Wild Hearts is 49.99 as well. That's another sleeper. Like a Dragon is Sheen, $49. Like, that's another sleeper. Yo, Wild Hearts, you can go like a Dragon is Sheen. Maybe if you do Sonic Frontiers as your freebie. I don't know. That's why, you know, look through the entire lineup. Obviously, I'm primarily mentioning PlayStation 4 and 5 titles, but uh, there's also stuff on a Switch, Xbox, etc. I mean, Lord of the Rings Gollum, baby. $60 on that. If you, if you really want to, like, hate your life, you could get that game as well. Uh, Atomic Heart is there. That's at $59.99 on PS5. That's not bad. I mean, I, I wasn't crazy about Atomic Heart. I didn't really like that game, but if you want to check it out, it performs really well. Also, you know, I guess you could take that. Uh, Star Ocean, The Divine Force, which is okay. Tactics Ogre Reborn, another title, $36.49. So this is on sale. So you can go Crisis Core Reunion, Tactics Ogre, and then find another game around that $40 range. And that could be a really good option. So the deeper you go into the options that are available, uh, there are some sneaky, sneaky good ones. By the way, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Like, I just saw that. That's on PS4. So you can go Battle Network Legacy Collection, Resident Evil 5, and let's say Hogwarts Legacy on PS4. Those are $60 a pop. Essentially get all those for 40. You think you're beating 40 on any of those games anytime in the near future? Probably not. Maybe, maybe Battle Network Collection in the fall, but you know, for the most part, I don't see you beating that uh, either. So the more I look at it, uh, at this, the more I realize that this is a pretty darn good sale. There's some sneaky, sneaky good stuff here. So definitely uh, have a look at it for yourself. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what you can ultimately find. So you know, some good stuff there for sure. Lastly, I do want to quickly note that Dead Island 2, if you do want to buy it outright on ps4 it is available for $34.99 now bear in mind that this was a $70 release on ps5 and yes on ps4 as well it was one of those games that uh they dropped as a $70 ps4 game on top of it being a $70 ps5 game so you know, 35 bucks for Dead Island 2, not bad at all. So I wanted to give that a shout as well. But that's going to do it for me. Again, solid buy two, get one free sale. But the more I looked at the entire lineup of games available, and I just saw Cyberpunk 2077 as well, that's 40 bucks. But, you know, to get that as a part of a buy two, get one free, that's not bad, given that, you know, a lot more interest in that game. Uh, even though, you know, so some of you guys were bandits and ended up getting that game for five bucks. But I digress. That's not going to be available in quite a while. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Again, a lot of good options there. Dead Island 2, Day 1 Edition, $34.99 on PS4 might be something you want to check out as well. That'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.